new penny stock, if you will, if you will. So it's under 130 million dollars. Sorry, it's 28 million dollars, and you get cash around four million dollars cash, 4.5 million dollars cash, and you get this resource here. It says Renner Score there. There's these guys here. Um, this is quite small, but they do. That's a jork resource, pretty small, but they do have a much larger project. They just have to drill, and fair to say they'll have graphite there as well. They got rare earths, and they got kaolin as well. I'm not looking at the kaolin project because ceramics is just growth with the population, or maybe the world's getting better, so those poorer countries go more ceramics. I don't know, but I'm more into the graphite side. Uh, they also got rare earths, which we need those for the electric vehicle motors to make them more efficient. And therefore more efficient needs less batteries and makes sense. So they got this, they made this their graphite on the small mine to 99.99% purity without using acid. So that's a good tick there. I'm not sure I've already said they're in a great area. As in low capex. So heaps of people around here, heaps of roads, everything's already built. So they're going to have good capex like Renescore here. Um, big tick for that. And rent score is very good, but you do have to pay like over 300 million. These guys are only 28 million. So a lot of upside. So you buy in before the announcements come in, like off take announcements, stuff like that, drilling announcements. You know in the future, we're most likely going to graphite. There's going to be off-take um, announcements, especially when we hit that shortfall. And there'll be announcements on drilling on the big project saying, yeah, we've hit more graphite. It's like, well, we knew what was going to happen. They put a magnet over this, flew the helicopter over. They drilled a few times already, so fair to say, even if they get half what they sink there, that's like decade-long mine life, huge resource. And... Knowing graphite in the area due to Renner score being there as well. Graphite exploration target. We'll look at this one. So I said they had a 10 million ton at like 9% for like a 10 year mine life doing 100,000 tons a year, just roughly. But then they got this big one here, which will give them huge mine life, like decades and decades. You could go never run out of graphite for 100 years, maybe. So near Renner score, as I said, so in a known good area for graphite but instead of rent scores further along they got the government grant already fair to say the government's like okay we'll give you the grant as well um, so you buy in before the announcement and you get the more upside perhaps more risk they still have to drill out the big project but this is already drilled out um, and guess what no one's liking graphite at the moment everything's going down so I give this high chance to get into production and good jurisdiction like Australia, it's going to have a good capex, like low capex because they're already in a great place with roads, etc. Good area. So, big tick for me for this company. Haven't purchased it yet. Um, there's not really any hype around it, it keeps going down. Not sure why this graphite play is going down, but I just, if you look into 2026, it looks like there's going to be a massive shortfall. Also, a really good video to watch is this one here. So, if you go to their website, I'm not sure how you get this, maybe have a look at this. So, that basically says they've done the small project, um, made that into spherical graphite for the battery anode without acid, and then they've got the big project as well, which is going to give them all this, which is huge. And yeah, so watch this project, it explains it more than I do. This video, sorry. So as I said, big tick for me, this company, definitely on my watch list now. Um, I'm just holding back because I think maybe the economy, the rates might send everything down a bit. So I'm just waiting out for maybe a bottoming because um, a graphite shortfall might happen, could happen next year. Well, China goes into winter, so they can't make um, graphite because they need the energy to heat homes, etc. So the strained energy in winter in China could do something with the prices, I'm not sure. But I do know that these electric vehicles all need graphite and to make it work we're going to need a lot of mines and fair to say this will be one of the mines. So this stock could go to a billion dollars 
in 2026. Um, whether that's excess on share price will depend on how they raise money, but it looks like rent score raised it through. Government funding, free loan from the government. So this company, don't see why they can't. Um, yeah, it seems very good stock. Valued below IG6. IG6 is a bit further along than them and got more downstream technology. But I do like this company very much. And it looks like it's at the bottom of the chart. Could go lower, you don't know. You think something's cheap, it goes lower. It's all a game. Uh, you might want to buy a bit now. Hold off. Drops down, you can buy a bit more. Um, yeah, really up to you, but I give this a big tick in my books. I don't see anything replacing graphite in the battery uh, for the near future. And that's it for me.